U.S. president suggested in daily briefing that injection of disinfectant could kill the virus and clean the lungs. Doctors and epidemiologists have reacted with alarm to comments from U.S. President Donald Trump that injecting disinfectant and exposure to ultraviolet rays could help people with the coronavirus. Trump is absolutely wrong and irresponsible, Dr. Eugene G. Yu, whose laboratory is involved in coronavirus testing, wrote on Twitter, adding, Clorox, Tide Pods and Lysol will kill coronavirus. No question about it. But if you are infected then the coronavirus is inside your cells. If you use any of those disinfectants to kill the coronavirus in your own cells then you'll die right along with the coronavirus. Trump was speaking at the daily press briefing at the White House, after a discussion on work by government researchers on the effect of heat and sunlight on the coronavirus. He first mused on whether light could be brought inside the body before moving on to the subject of disinfectant. If it could knock out the virus in a minute, one minute, Trump pondered, is there a way we can do something like that by injection, inside, or almost a cleaning? It would be interesting to check that. Mr. Hashtag Trump, chlorine disinfectants are poison. I know chemistry isn't your strong suit. Or biology. Or physics. Or reality. UV light kills viruses, but shined on human cells in the way you seem to say causes mutations. Barron, at 14, has likely had a science class and can explain. Trump also suggested the possibility of injecting disinfectants as a treatment. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. I'm not a doctor. But I'm, like, a person that has a good you know what, Trump said, pointing to his head. This injecting lethal carcinogens into lungs, as Rx suggestion from US leadership, clinches the spot for most depressing thing today. Could have been failed Remdesivir RCTOR only 21% sampled NYC residents being antibody plus VE for hash COVID-19 in a city already overwhelmed by it. Trump has previously touted in proven treatments as cures for COVID-19, the disease caused by the coronavirus, despite caution among health officials. A man in Arizona died in late March after taking chloroquine phosphate, a substance used to clean fish tanks, after Trump repeatedly talked about hydroxychloroquine. The man's wife told TV network NBC News he had been watching the president's daily briefings. Earlier in the briefing, William Bryan, acting head of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security's Science and Technology Directorate said government researchers had determined that the virus survives best indoors and in dry conditions and loses potency when temperatures and humidity rise, especially when it is exposed to sunlight. The virus dies quickest in the presence of direct sunlight, he told the briefing in findings that raised hopes the coronavirus would mimic the behavior of other respiratory diseases such as influenza, which are typically less contagious in warm weather. But the coronavirus has also proven lethal in warm, humid countries such as Singapore, raising broader questions about the effect of environmental factors. On non-porous surfaces like stainless steel, the new coronavirus takes 18 hours to lose half its strength in a dark, low-humidity environment, Brian said. In a high-humidity environment, that weakened organism strength dropped to 6 hours and when the virus was exposed to high humidity and sunlight, it dropped to 2 minutes, he said. Researchers found a similar effect with the coronavirus that was suspended in the air, simulating the coughing or sneezing that often spreads the disease. In a dark room, the virus maintained half its strength for an hour. But when exposed to sunlight, it lost half its strength in 90 seconds, Brian said.